Hi all, and welcome to the Industrial Energy Monitoring System product demonstration video. The Energy Monitoring System consists out of four dashboards. First, we head into the Daily Energy Analysis. On the left side of the dashboards, you're able to navigate between all dashboards and views, change the dashboard by using the filters to create specific views, put focus on a specific optimization area, and change the context of the dashboard by using the filters. You can also track energy efficiency with spot on insights into your most important standardized energy performance metrics by looking at the trends and KPIs. Next to this, you can analyze energy consumption per hour and see how energy is distributed. Finally, you're able to analyze all batches with its own context. So benchmark batches or assets and their performance against historical results to review improvements. What we can see here is that two out of seven batches were not efficient, while five out of seven batches were efficient. Heading into the second dashboard, this is the periodic energy analysis. In the periodic energy analysis, you can set, as you can see on the left side, a danger rate and a date aggregation. You can also benchmark energy metrics against any adjustable reference period to see if you are doing better or worse. Next to this, you can see the energy efficiency trend and energy consumption versus volume. On this day, the energy efficiency was very low, so we zoom in. And what we can see on the daily energy overview, after clicking on the dot, is that unexpected maintenance cost 45% of all energy, which caused the low energy efficiency. So you can do root cause analysis. Another visualization shows me that oven one seems to be less efficient than oven three. You can see all the batches compared to the other ovens. On the right side, we have the product performance metrics, where you can click on a square and see details about bad performing products. Here we can see that sugar cookies had the worst performance compared to the reference period, and this was mainly caused by bad performance of oven one. Heading into the third dashboard, which is the asset and G analysis. I further want to analyze sugar cookies, so I click on the filters and select sugar cookies, so the dashboard filters out only sugar cookies. Now I select a batch that performed bad. Here we have the overview of the batch. On the right bottom side of the dashboard, you can see all details. Here I can see and analyze individual energy streams to see behavior and performance. By clicking on a cell, I can analyze a single energy stream. In this example, I click on gas. I get a pop-up with a link to analyze this individual energy stream. I click the link, I see all the underlying trend, which shows a strange pattern in gas consumption that happened on this patch. This needs to be further investigated. Next to these real-time views, we also have real-time dashboards that are showing trends, aggregated values, and actual product runs. The Analytics for Industry Azure-based energy monitoring system handles everything from data collection to data analytics. Here we see the solution architecture. What we ask from the SI or customer is to handle the local OT infrastructure. Analytics for Industry deploys the cloud platform and the dashboards, while the customers are administrating their own customer analytics platform. Here we see which data is supported. We support multiple types of energy data, water, air, gas, electricity, steam, volume data, and contextual data, product, status, batches, and shifts. The energy monitoring system can be operational in five days and has led to significant savings at our customers.